Hey guys, this is a torque converter. Hey, trouble, hi buddy. Um, this is a 2008 Ford F250 Super Duty. I completely went through this transmission, new valve body, all new friction seals. I didn't replace the molded pistons. They usually don't have problems with those. I checked them all out. So, anyways, all those are fine. All the ceiling rings, I changed those on the pump stator. All that stuff's new. I put a shift kit in the actual pump. Uh, redid the pressure regulator, all that stuff. New torque convert. Well, it's a reman double disc torque converter. Well, we uh, test drove it and it wasn't right. And pulled the pan, had silvery looking stuff in the oil. And I said, Oh, we got a problem. Uh, pulled the transmission out. The owner was actually here, Marco was here helping me. Pulled the transmission back out of it yesterday, last night. This torque converter is stuck in the pump won't come out i've i've heard of this before i've never had it happen to me and i know what some of you going to say oh you didn't get it splined right yeah i did get it splined right into the into the pump i've okay so anyways what i was saying for the phone ring um if if you don't have this in all the way and splined into your pump right you'll go to put your bell housing up against your block and it ain't going to go in and this went right right on you know by hand i didn't have to pull it in with bolts or anything like that it went right up against there just like it's supposed to i didn't have any problems i'm i'm really meticulous about that i'll even measure from here to here and my dimension and measure the the flex plate to the block and see what my dimension is then i can tell that this is in all the way i mean so i i know it was in all the way i i don't know what happened here if it spun a spline on the turbine shaft or something happened i think it's chewing the pump up is what it's doing but it's stuck bigger and shit it won't come out of there um so i really don't know what to do yet i can't i can't get a chain on it i, I had that little chain here somewhere and i was gonna if, it, if this converter had threaded holes in it instead of the studs i could just stick this chain on here and uh anchor it somewhere and pull on it with a come along or something to pull it out but i can't i can't really do anything there i'm thinking i'm gonna have to take a piece of metal or an angle iron and drill a hole in it and slide it over the stud then put the nut on it and then weld some chain to the angle iron and hang it off the crane and hit the bell housing with a big rubber mallet with a block or something to try to get the some bits to come out of there. But it, it is stuck bigger than shit now, I'm telling you. I had this little method I was trying yesterday too. And it wasn't really working either. Up in there like you would ah, this is not good. Not good at all. I've never, never had this happen before. I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna do here. Damn it! I wish them studs were a little longer, and then you could get enough on that to get that nut on there well let me figure out i wonder if i take a bolt that's what i'm gonna do i'm thinking about taking a bolt and welding the shouldered part of the head of the bolt to the nut like that I can get more of these nuts weld it around here and then slide the bolt like that maybe I'll get a little smaller bolt that will fit through this link of this chain 
I think that's what I'm going to wind up doing here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a... I'm going to ruin a couple of these nuts. And let me go get some bolts. Okay, me and Marco are trying to get his torque converter out of his transmission. So we kind of scabbed us some... We took some quarter inch bolts and welded them to the top side of the nuts that screw on the converter studs to where we could get a chain on it. So now we're going to hang the whole weight of the transmission from the converter off the crane and see if the stupid thing will come out of there. Hey Marco, let's just grab it by hand and stand it on its end. We'll set it on that block and then I'll... Let's see here, then I'll...
take the torque converter and cut the center out of it. <coughs> well, shit, I'm open to, to suggestions. Never been down this road before. I thought surely that was going to get that loose. But it ain't doing it. <coughs> I don't think my studs are strong enough to anchor it to a something solid and pull onto a come along. I don't think it would I don't think it would stay on there. I think these little studs would just bend over. might be contacting Oregon Performance Transmission and saying what the fuck did you guys do with your torque converter here that screwed up my transmission <clears throat> shit what do we do now Marco I don't know I wonder if I take an air hammer and vibrate on it or something maybe I don't know what to do here. Well, shit. Okay, well, the only other option is to see if we can cut it out. If we haven't already warped the case, beating on it with a freaking sledgehammer. I had a 4100 one time that the case got warped on that was... I don't remember what we did, but we were trying to get something loose on it, and we just, we took the bell housing and just went like that on a block, and it, it would never shift right. Every bow body we bolted down to it, it would stick the valves in it, and then we took a flat edge across it, and it had, it was warped 12 thousandths from smacking that thing. Okay, here we go. Now there's going to be a bunch of oil in there and it's probably going to want to catch on fire on me. Let's see here. What the hell? There we go. Get this on this side of the two part. Ding dong.
guys, me and Marco fought it and fought it and fought it and I don't know where's my flashlight at. I think it's charging over there. We finally got it apart somewhat. Look out, bud. Ah, there is what's left of the torque converter after a couple hours of gouging on it with a torch and beating on it and here's lots of parts and pieces on the floor here and there now we can unbolt the pump we left the turbine shaft in it or the yeah the turbine shaft so metal and stuff didn't go down in the transmission so that'll be the next project now we're going to throw it up there pull the pan off pull the pump bolts out knock the pump out and we're, I, I i accidentally broke part of the stator off so the pump's going to be ruined anyway so we got to get a new pump new torque converter i don't know why that thing seized up in there like that okay well let's see uh let's move this uh shell of a torque converter out of the way Okay, so the reason we had low line pressure is because it was chewing the pump up. You can see all the scratches. Get this light right. See all the scratches on the pump. And as you can see here, it spun it. So the so the converter 
flange spun inside see the two flat ears you've got here it spun it inside to where it wedged it I think that the converter partially seized and the pump was turning or something to that nature I don't know why it did that to be completely honest with you but it was put together correctly the there's a timing mark right there you can see the little dimple right there if you can ever get the light right Yeah, see the little dimple right there? See the other little dimple on the internal gear? So it was put together correctly. So it says right here in the book. Right there in the book says, okay, there's your two gears. There's that one part of the pump half. And where does it say? Marks facing up. So, I don't know. I don't know why it spun it inside that. You can't put that together wrong, really. I mean, the converter, it, the bell housing won't ever, you know, won't ever butt up. You'd have to force the, the bolts together. It went right together. There was no problems. So, I don't know what happened on this one. It's uh, definitely dickered up. So, now we got to clean our mess up and... Uh, I think the rest of the transmission is going to be fine. These frictions look really good on the overdrive frictions. There, coast clutch frictions, there's nothing burnt there. I'll take this other planetary set out where the uh, turbine shaft in just to make sure we didn't get slag or anything down there and clean it all out. But 